Hi guys, we're gonna work on a very simple chord progression. We're gonna play A to D to E and back to A. This is gonna be like another piece to the puzzle. If you can learn a new chord progression every week in a year, you'll be able to master thousands of songs and just strum along and probably sing along and have fun with them. So today we're just gonna think of technique and how to switch successfully from chord to chord and how to improve that. Um, if you are not familiar with this course, check out Rock Prodigy. They are in uh, lesson 16 and 17 where we are teaching the major and minor chords. And then we have different milestones and riffs and things that you can use to just practice how to play those particular chords. But today we're just gonna work on the dynamics of getting from chord to chord, okay? So, we're gonna start with A major. And this chord, doesn't really have any notes in common with D major. So whenever we have two chords like A and D that don't have notes in common, we just rely on the order of placement of our fingers. Meaning we need to think of what is the first finger that you place on D, what is the second finger, what is the third finger, and always do that in the same sequence. If you do that over and over and over, eventually it becomes, sec uh, becomes second nature. So this is what we're going to do. A major. And when we go to D, we're going to start by the lowest fretted note, which is the A on the third string, second fret. Then we're going to place our ring finger on the second string, third fret, and then middle on the first string, second fret. So we're going to go like this. We're going to start by playing A, and then play the first targeted note, which is the note that you play with the index. One more time. Let's play whole notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more time. A, two, three, and. Let's add the next note. So we're gonna go two, three, four, A, two, three, and the next note is. Right? One more time. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and two, three, and repeat that until you feel really comfortable with these two notes so far from A to D and then we're gonna add the third note which is middle on the second fret first string so all together goes one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, if this is too fast, try to go a little bit slower, leave a bar in between. For example, you can go one, two, three, and one, two, three, and two, three, and two, three, and. But make sure that whenever you are changing from chord to chord, your thumb stays in the same position, your hand doesn't make any radical changes. It's just very like tiny little changes in your in your fingers, okay? Your elbow, all that is stays exactly the same. Okay, let's say that you can master that already. Um, you can play a little bit faster. Let's play half notes for the notes in the D chord, like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two. One more time. Three and one, two, three and one, two, one, two, one, two. Nice. From half notes, let's go to quarter notes. One, two, three, and one. One more time. Three and one, two, three, and. And once that you have that, try to just play the two strums. Like one, two, three, and. Two, three, four. If that's too fast, you can leave a bar in between like this. One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, four, and so and so. We're not gonna repeat it many times because you get the idea, right? Um, now we're gonna change. We're gonna move to the next chord change. We're gonna go from D to E major. As you can see, D and E 
don't have nodes in common either. So we need to rely again on the order of placement of our fingers. This is D and E. We're gonna just play the lowest fretted note, which is the fifth string, second fret with our middle finger. So one more time, D major to the first note of E. One more time. Then we're gonna add the next note, which is second fret on the fourth string with our ring finger. One more time. Two, three, and one. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. One more time. D, two, three, and. Two, three, and one. Two, three, and. Repeat that until you feel really comfortable with those uh, two notes going from D to E and then add the last finger which is the first finger the uh, first uh, fret of the third string with your index there you go and then same thing D two three and two three and one two three and two three and follow the exercises that uh, I told you about earlier like for example playing every note as a whole note then move to half notes or just move the um, speed in your metronome you can play start very slow and just go faster for example okay then in the end you're gonna have this we're gonna start on A two three going to E I'm sorry going to D and then going to E major At first you can also practice that with no tempo, just making sure that you always follow the same sequence, the same order of placement of fingers, okay? One more time will be A, will be going to D and going to E. And I've, I would say that the goal will be being able to play these notes in whole notes, in a comfortable tempo, just by strumming each of them like this. Three and one, two, three and one, two, three and three, two, three and one more time. Two, three, A, one, two, three and B, three and B. Cool, I hope this was uh, helpful. Um, you know, keep practicing these chord changes. We're gonna do more videos uh, regarding these kind of chord changes so you can play along with me and just practice that every week. Again, the goal is that every week you're gonna get a little bit better. We're gonna keep adding pieces to the puzzle and after several months of practicing, you'll really notice uh, a lot of improve, uh, improvements in your technique and you'll be able to play chord changes, playing songs and all that. Uh, stay in touch. Check us out at rockpradi.com. Um, leave us any message. You know, you can contact us uh, by checking out the forum, rockpradi.com slash forum. Also on YouTube, also Facebook. And please stay in tune. Bye-bye.